Hello and welcome to the Home with Johan's April Real Estate Report. Obviously, I'm getting this in on the 11th hour. Uh, so, uh, But here we go. Of course, everybody's wondering, how does a pandemic affect real estate prices? Well, I'm, I'm about to show you. And it's obviously, it has had an effect. Interestingly enough, uh, currently not on prices yet, on selling prices. So taking a look at... Uh, what's been going on in the market. So these are these are the numbers that I'm going to show you are numbers that have been uh, taken from all of the data garnered in March. And of course, so it's, you've always got a month. So when the April numbers come out, that'll be the first week of May. And I'll hopefully get my real estate report in faster than this. So taking a look at the numbers, uh, sales down by 70%. And that, that can be expected with all the social distancing uh, procedures that have been put into place. Looking at uh, total transactions uh, year over year, it's up. Don't forget, these are March numbers. So that a lot of these numbers, what's absorbed into them is just pre-pandemic, like the social distancing really started mid-March. So sales are up, uh, transactions are up, sorry, by 12.3% uh, from last year. And the selling price, this is an incredible number, has gone up 14.5%. This is for all home types in the 416 area. And if we look at uh, new listings, it's only up 3% uh, year over year. And so we are in the spring market, and usually we're so accustomed to seeing a huge increase in listings in the springtime. That really didn't happen this year because of the social distancing. Uh, new listings are down considerably. And this is a really incredible number. Days on market. From last year, it's almost gone down to half, so a decrease of 43%. So average days on market now for all homes in Toronto, uh, 17 uh, versus 30 last year. So that's that just shows you, and that's a reflection of buyer demand. Buyer demand is so high that basically, in conclusion, the pandemic did not uh, affect buyer demand. So that's why home prices are still where where they are at. If we look at the average price of uh, homes in Toronto, so a uh, detached home average price is, this is the 416 area, is 1.465 million. A semi is 1.155. A townhouse is uh, 834,000. And a condo, I mean, that number just keeps going up and up and up and up every year. I mean, I just remember saying not just too long ago, it was 650,000, now we're at 712,000. Uh, it is going to be interesting to see what is going to happen with condo and uh, housing supplies because I think obviously the Airbnb industry has been hit hard and then we also had the new rules come out with respect to uh, principal residences only being allowed for short-term rentals. So I do believe there's going to be more inventory on the market because of that. You know, a lot of investors... Uh, are going to be like the Airbnb industry is almost shut down because of this pandemic. So a lot of investors, either they're going to find long-term tenants or they're going to say, uh, I'm going to sell this property. So I'm, I'm expecting and hoping to see a greater increase in condo inventory. Also, you know, the pandemic could inspire marriages and divorces. So perhaps we'll see more homes come on the market because couples are going to be divorced after socially isolating with quarantine with each other. I mean, that's a marriage test. Uh, so there's always, there's always, that's why real estate is an essential service has been kept as an essential service during this entire uh, situation because people are buying and selling and need to move. They were in the midst of transactions. There are people that uh, had already sold their home prior to the social distancing and they're actively their homes are still closing. They have to buy a house. Uh, so that that's one of the reasons real estate has been considered an essential service pretty much globally. Uh, I don't know where it's not considered an essential service. So if uh, so that, I hope, helps you with uh, respect to uh, what is happening currently in the market. A lot of people are asking me, should I wait to sell or sell now? I don't have a crystal ball, but I do know... Considering that the demand for homes has been so high that the pandemic didn't even affect that, uh, selling prices are still holding ground uh, on properties. So if you're happy with 
your house, uh, if you have a detached house and, and the average price is 1.4 million and it hasn't been affected, then now would be a good time to sell if you're considering it because I don't know what's going to happen with prices uh, six months or a year from now. And but I do know what the values are now. And so and they're high. So if you're considering selling now, still an excellent time. Of course, we've uh, engaged in a lot of uh, procedures and precautions in selling a home. You're going to be seeing a lot more virtual tours. There is fewer uh, multiple offer situations. I'm seeing fewer listing agents list homes with a hold back on offers. Now it's typically listed at market value with 24 hour irrevocable. And of course, we're taking all the precautions on doing showings. So if you have any questions about this or would like more information, I would really be happy to help you out. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow me on social media. And also, uh, yeah, that's a piano in the background. I, I hope that you're all pursuing your passions. Uh, it's like somebody hit the reset button on the world and said, stay at home, reflect, and uh, think about what, what you want to do and the legacy you want to leave in your life. So I, I hope that everybody is uh, taking the time, not just to get closer with their family, however, to uh, pursue things that they've always, you know, they kind of put on the back burner, such as writing a book or painting or drawing uh, photography. And I started a virtual piano bar and I'm, uh, I've been doing it consecutively now. This will be my 38th night in a row playing two hours. And it's been a, a wonderful way to connect with people and the audience keeps on growing. You can find it on the virtual piano bar, Dave's virtual piano bar group on Facebook. If you'd like the link for the streaming, I can send it to you. Hope that helps. Don't forget you're in good hands with your hands and uh, enjoy the sunshine.